Oh my god, you guys. Dude, that's pretty high, I think. 6.3. I mean, look at it all. This is the freaking treasure Lord trove. What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some more atlas ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for coming to hang out with me with new blue stuff and things we got a new blue color that's not quite so blue so it's a lot easier for you guys to see i actually really like the old blue um but it is the thing that's happened we have a new blue now thank you guys for coming to hang out with me it's just the beginnings of the day 4 15 in the morning is the perfect time to get a move on to do some stuff and things on the high seas and we're out on our new brigantine named betty Ladies and gentlemen, stuff and things have happened. Um, if you watch the streams, you know exactly what went on. But if you don't, then maybe you don't. I can't remember if I've updated you guys or not. But Bliss is gone. It has been sunk. Bliss was sunk by a very unfortunate series of events. And I will explain it to you. I thought there was a ship out here. But it looks like that there is not. All right. So first and foremost, let's set a bearing. And then we can talk about some stuff. And think, <gasps> what is this? What is this magical stuff that we've discovered here? What are green and what are red? Dude, what? Are these our claims? Are these the ability that we have to see claim flags now? Do they, is there a toggle deal? Ship text? World grid? Bed text? Discovery zone? Marker to... No. That's not it. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I think they've released the ability for us to see where our claim flags are. That's going to make doing stuff and things unbelievable and amazingly easier. Like this claim flag here that obviously shouldn't be there. So now we know we can go and take it down. Oh my God. All right. Sorry. Got, wait, what was that over there? Do you see that? Dude, what is that? Is that just a little white thing on the water? Okay. So let's get a bearing. Where do we want to go today? Ladies and gentle peeps on our amazing adventures. Uh, I feel like I want to go to a one. We've never been there before. So if we head to the northeast that should be good so we'll pop down over here we'll make our mark like this we'll look for boy it'd be nice if i could really read this okay so northeast, like so is that right let's go back and look here just one more second here a bearing of northeast more east than north maybe like so all right, so let's turn around and then we'll talk about some stuff and things that have been going on in Atlas. And hopefully we can still maintain that bearing um, with the wind that we have here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. As far as we can go. Negative 75 degrees and stuff and things. All right, so this is the direction that we want to head. It looks like we're still getting yeah, wind. Let's see what we're looking at here. So a little bit more east would be nice, but maybe we can catch it in the next zone. Okay, so we are on the new Brigantine Betty. That's right, ladies and gentle peeps. The Booty Barnacles at Booty Bay with our unbelievable and amazing galleon, Big Brenda. And we also have a sloop named Brenda and our Brigantine, whose name now is Betty. Betty the Brigantine. Can I, can I even get out here to show you? Betty, there she is. And she's so unbelievable and amazing. Huge shouts to the community for helping to me, me to rebuild. But this is what went on. So... Um, I was playing some Atlas and doing some recording, of which you guys saw uh, the recording of the last video. And then I logged out. And about 20 minutes later, I got a message from one of our admins here that the that uh, Bliss had sunk. And I flew over very quickly to figure out what was going on. And for about a day, I couldn't work it out. But my subconscious mind did its thing, and I discovered what it was that was the problem. So you can see here, we have 23 total crew. Uh, and we have 19 here right now. Now, on Bliss, I do believe when I logged out, I had 22 of 22 crew. Now, if I show you right here, you can see what maybe the problem was. Can you see what the problem might have been when we logged out? So, when we logged out, our parrot hit the deck. And that counts as an additional crew member. And that caused my ship to sink. It destroyed the ship. Uh, which I think is a little bit harsh there, Grape Shot. I don't know if that's the best PvE mechanic I ever did see. Um, but, okay, hold on. We got to turn all of our deals off now. Like so and like so. So, um, yeah, it sunk the, 
it sunk the ship. And um, it's all right. Like, it's okay. The community came through. They helped us to rebuild. We have a new Brigantine now. A little bit better designed. I did the levels a little bit better on this one, too. Can I see where my turnoff is? Go like so. And then what if I go like this? And then we go like this with our hot grappling hook action. Oh, yeah. Right over here like so. Best invention ever. If you guys aren't using grappling hooks yet, you absolutely should be. Like so and like so. So, yeah, um, if you're overweight or you're, if you're over crew, um, it really is a huge issue. It can, can, it can destroy your ship, so you have to be really, really careful about that. Um, I actually personally don't agree with that. I don't think that's how the mechanics should work. And I hear that there's a lot of people that are griefing um, PvE on PvE servers because of that mechanic. I feel like if you're overweight, it should cause you to have a drastic, a very drastic drop in the speed at which you can move to the point where I think if you're overweight on crew... Maybe you get like 5% movement speed or something like that. Total of 5%. Um, but I don't think it's a sink your ship. Then someone can come over into your ship and do something, something. And then I heard some people were putting, I don't know, doing all sorts of things. I don't want to give anybody any ideas. But people were doing all sorts of things. So the other thing that I was having a problem with is you may have noticed our wheel has moved. And speaking of that, let's pop down over here. And let's make our wheel beautiful. Like so. Let's grab that die right there. Oh, wait. Bleh. Zerp derp. We're going to need a hot paintbrush as well. Let's get that. Like so. Like so. And we'll paint this guy. So, there's been some sort of really weird no clipping or clipping issues that people have been talking about with building. Now, I haven't done a lot of building, so I don't know a ton about what's going on. But, I do believe that it's caused me to have a problem with my ship. So, hold on a second here. Let's just apply all that paint like so. Oh, yeah. Feels good. And then our wheel is back to normal. So, when I grab my wheel like this and then I right click, you see how I can target stuff and things? And I can target stuff and things? So, when my wheel was back here, I was doing that and I couldn't target anything. I could get onto the wheel. I could open the gun ports. I could close the gun ports. Speaking of, yeah, let's go ahead and close our gun ports. There we go. I could open my gun ports. I could close my gun ports. I could assign my crew, I could move my sails, I could do all the things, but I could not right click to target and I could not figure out why. I ripped the, the wheel off here and replaced it. That didn't work. I whipped the wheel off, ripped the wheel off there and I placed it here and then suddenly I could target when nothing was behind me. So I think that my camera trying to move behind this structure and having it not be able to do that was causing me to have a problem. I also actually demoed this ladder and that wasn't, that didn't fix it for me at all either. So, um, so yeah, to start things off, not a rant really, but just I wanted to shed some light on some of the issues that are happening with me and Atlas at this moment that I think are really easily fixed and poorly designed. Um, I don't know what the clipping issue is or what the reason why that changed was, but it definitely seems like overall not a lot of people are happy about it. And then as far as the ship weight thing, I think again... Um, overall, not a lot of people are, are super happy with that. But thankfully, not a lot of people are having problems. Um, so, the Bliss, we're back. And we have, I do believe, near to a full crew complement. Um, a total of 19 crew out of 23. And I did get this lady leveled up. Um, I did pump one extra point into weight, unfortunately. But we are level 41 with a total of 20,200 weight and uh, 23 total crew. Now, you saw inside of here as well, we only have 1.5 in accommodations, which this also helps with re, uh, repair speed and crew payment. Uh, we have the total extra crew. And then I did pump a couple of points into sturdiness, which helps with our item spoiling and our uh, vitals depletion and our ship sinking rate. So those things aren't super, super important. Um, so I think that having the crew is much better. So down here now, our crew, I think we have a full complement on all our lower guns here. We have the two front-mounted large cannons that are manned, and we have one person on the back cannon, so we just need one more person, and we should be GTG. Um, and, yeah, so I'm excited. This is the beginnings, this really. I showed you the last video where we took um, we took out the Bliss to do stuff and things, and we had a very successful journey. It was really quite nice. How's our wind doing, and how's our... Where are we here? Dude, I think we're heading the right direction. This is working out perfectly. Um, so... We're able to do things by ourselves at sea, which is something that I really like. I like the fact that we can come out at sea and do stuff and things just on our own. It's friggin' amazing, man. And we can get all sorts of bloops and do 
cool stuff and things like that. So the next order of business for me, I think, is I really am going to try to find better blues. So the things that we're looking for are right here. We have the Journeyman Large Cannon Blueprint. I think this is a very important blueprint. I'm going to move it over into this. Uh, this storage right there, it's 115% damage. Um, that's a significant increase in damage. Um, we have 102 for the common ship cannon, the smaller cannon. I don't think that's really that important. Um, our speed sails, I think the, fi the, the nicest one we found so far is this. It has durability of 115%. So we're going to start separating these guys out like so and like so. And putting all of our best bloops over inside of here even stuff like this these guys here the fine ship ammunition box uh that's 108 percent 109 percent 106 percent i think that would probably be our best uh crew decking durability 105 i wonder if we could change these out without having a problem with dropping stuff um but yeah all of these things to make our ship even better i think this is things that we're going to be focusing on um especially though we're going to need to talk about these guys right here so these are large planks this is small planks we need mediums so medium gun ports and medium planks that are of higher quality are going to be very important for us so all of those really really high-end bloops are the things that we're going to be doing or focusing on one of the things that we're going to be focused on focusing on to make our ship better so that we can be just unbelievable and amazing and especially considering that i think now that things are starting to settle down a touch on uh on Salvation, I think we're going to see a lot more hot PvP action starting up. And so, more durable sales. Very important. More durable everything. Higher level NPCs that have more HPs. Higher level cannons. Higher level decking. All of that stuff is really going to help us in the future. Where we're going to be doing stuff and things. Okay, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to make a little turn to starboard here and head for this first island. We've never been in this area before. It is quite interesting. In fact, also, skills, I have 44 points. I could do some stuff and things. I could definitely do some stuff and things with the points that we have. Ah, no! Okay. Okay, we should be all right, everybody. Everybody's going to be fine. It's not going to be a problem. We're just going to come right through the storm, and we're going to head right to the island. So let's take a look here and see in our atlas. Let us... Try to zoom in so we can just get maybe A1 in the frame. There we go. Like so. Perfect. Okay. So, no idea what's going on here. Now, there is a skill that allows me to uncover... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. More of the fog of war. Hmm. I wonder where that is. Oh, my God, you guys. These stupid storms, man. They're crazy. Should be able to navigate through here pretty easily. Also, I am noticing that I thought all these regions were Arctic. And when I first popped in, I was actually still hot. And now it looks like the temperature is fine. It's 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, it's set up for tropical open water. Okay, this is not Arctic. Not even a little bit. So unfortunately, we have a storm. It is... Oh, it's just noontime? Okay, it's really overcast. Rip the flotsam. We're going to annihilate all these things. I want to make my way ashore, but we also have to be very careful with where we come in here. Oh, dude, look at this island, man. Super unbelievable and amazing island. Uh, I think if we stay on this side, we should be geez, just because of the wind. I also don't want to, uh-oh. I don't want to come too far into shore uh, because I don't want to beach the boat. So let's pop again inside of here and see. Oh, it looks like that. Anywhere where there's the darker blue, we should be fine. It looks like there's a claim flag right here in this bay area. Pop over, try to make a little bit of a turn. Uh-oh. Oh, we're going to take a little bit of damage. We're going to take a little bit of damage for the stupid storm. Dumb. We're going to lose a little bit of frames. We're going to lose a lot of frames. And we've come through on the other side unscathed. Let's try. It looks like there's a little rocky outcropping in front of us here. A little bit of claim action over in this area. I'm going to try to get close over here without beaching the ship. Maybe we'll bring the sails down a touch. Dude, look at the wind. And we're just looking for that sexy anchor icon. There is a rock right in front of us we don't want to hit. Just waiting for that sexy anchor icon. Anybody seen it? Anybody? Anybody. Anchor? Come on. You, we've got to be able to anchor soon. 
There it is. All right. He's done it. We're anchored. Everything's G's. Okay. Survival stuff and things. What are we going to need? Food, water, guns. Got it. All right. Oh, looks like some sort of stuff and things. There's a small bird. What the heck? Dude, did that bird just survive? Are you kidding me? Holy crap, man. Also, uh, let's drink right now. Wait, no, that's not drink. Let's drink right now to make sure we're full. Okay, I'm ready to make a discovery. So once we hit land, I'm going to try to get a little bit of killing done. Just because we're going to get a bit of an XP buff from it. So we are going to try to get a little bit of killing going on here. Let us maybe switch those out like so. Once we touch land, we should get a discovery deal. Oh, not yet? Do we have to stand up? It looks fairly safe over here. Oh, also, you know what we should do? We've made landfall. On Cracker Island! And I'm going to try to get some experience. Like I said, I had to pop back to the ship really quickly, though, because it's super cold here. So, 20 degrees Fahrenheit on the island, which is really odd, because the water was a little bit nicer, but it is showing as, or it doesn't show. It says Western Tundra. So we can maybe expect things to be a little bit colder here. Um, it looks really, really flat here, which is amazing. I missed the minigame because I'm never going to be able to pay attention to that and look around the world at the same time. I hate the minigame. Um, looks really, really flat. So, yeah, baby, give me that XP. This looks like a really cool place to build, but it also looks really dangerous, man. There's bad hombres all around here. I kind of want to climb to the top of the mountain to see what there is. The other thing that I'm interested in is seeing, it's what I didn't really take a look at yet, was the resources that are here. A lot of those high-end bloops that we're trying to go for, we need multiple kinds of resources. And um, our company has started to make maps. Headshot. The company started to make maps. How many shots do I have? 80 and 170 for, the, um, for all the islands so that we can see what resources are where. And then we can utilize those resources um, if we need to build those higher-end bloops. So that's something that we're definitely looking out for. This place does look quite treacherous, though. Who is it that is here? Oh, that wasn't a... Okay, that wasn't an all-the-way hit. Nailed it, Ace. It can't be stopped. Uh, whose deal is this? Who lives here, man? Territory claim flag. Duke Buckenberger. Personal owner, Duke Buckenberger. Okay. What's up, Duke? <laughs> and we're back. Under cover of darkness. At the Inedible Company? By Crunchy Dump? Seems like an odd name. Oh, no. Let's keep our light off. These guys have quite a little deal. So I've traveled pretty much around the island, all around this area, and, and kind of around on the beach. There doesn't seem to be too much going on over here at Kraka Island. Uh, there's not a lot going on. These guys have a big area walled off right there. So it's looking pretty good for those guys. They got a nice little area. I, I managed to get climbed up over here so I could take a look at some stuff and things. I used some climbing stuff. Um, and we should, and it does look pretty good. But uh, yeah, this island seems pretty much uninhabited so i feel like we're just gonna move on let's continue to explore okay so we're finding some flotsam of varying degrees of unbelievable and amazingness and uh i'm just trying to kind of play the game you know what i mean a lot of times on the channel we try to go on like some sort of an adventure or we try to do some sort of look at this look at this man holy flotsam for days this is unbelievable and amazing. I can't even believe it. Look at it all, man. Oh, wait. Is our, our hook is already uh, destroyed. Oh, my God. Hold on. We've got to go get our hook repaired. So a lot of times on this channel, we, you know what I mean? We're like, hey, today we're going to do this. Then we go and do that. Today, with, with what I'm doing right now, we just need a little bit of hide. Please tell me we have hide. He's got hide. All right. We didn't need quite that much. Slip gator. We'll put the rest of that back inside of there like so. And then like so. But today, what we're trying to do really is just get stuff. Get bloops, get things. I've been throwing away a lot of the common bloops and then picking up a bunch of other things. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got inside of all these guys. How many of these guys are there, man? Let's take a look and see. And then there are varying levels of unbelievable and amazingness. So quality 2.4, quality 1. I think the yellow ones are not as good. Purple are better. 4.4, 6.7. Nine! Oh my God, you guys. Dude, that's pretty high, I think. 6.3. I mean, look at it all. This is a 
freaking treasure trove. And we're back. Uh, quick and six and climb over and swing and. What the mess? You're kidding me, man. I could have swore we we're going to have that one. Oh, can we get to this one fast enough? You know what maybe we should do? Why don't we just slow down again? So I grabbed a bunch of them overnight. Oh, rip the dream. It's gone. Um, I grabbed a bunch of these guys in the night. There's a huge amount, man. And then you got to be careful of the coloring. Like, the different colors obviously denote different uh, levels. Kind of like drops in arc, right? But not all of them. Like, some of them are odd. That's a five right there. And then this guy, 5.9. Um, it is sometimes kind of hard to get your boat over to them. So if you have some higher swimming statistics, such as I do, maybe you would want to just swim out to them. You, all the sails are down there, right? This might be a little bit easier. Let's pop over here and grab this guy. And then we'll go back over to the ship. Also, how, I, I'll tell you what, man, the beginning of the video, you know, I was talking about some things in the game right now that aren't working that well. I want to make sure you guys know there's a lot of things in the game that I think that are working great. Uh, and... I'll tell you right now, the water, I mean, it is it is one of those things. The water in this game is unbelievable. The physics of the water and the physics of how the boats work on it and stuff, dude, it's so amazing. It just feels like you're really out on the sea. Like, look at the underneath, like underneath the waves and what that looks like. It's so realistic. It's unbelievable. I haven't gotten into diving yet. I've heard it's kind of gross, so I haven't really done that yet, but um, I'm interested to see what the ocean floor looks like too. Some people are telling me there's not a lot there. So maybe in a future update, we'll see some stuff and things. So, all right, let's talk about a bunch of these guys. I grabbed a huge amount of them. Did we get anything worth getting? Uh, let's eat this. Let's eat some onions. Eh, looks like a lot of nothing. Okay, so hold on. Let's find a spot here where we can throw some stuff away also got to turn off all of our lights. I'm really hoping that they enable levers on ships soon or something so that we can get some lighting and then we're able to like do all of it at the same time. So I have to climb up in the crow's nest and get all those guys. So we'll stay over on the edge over here and just start dropping some garbage we don't want. Uh, stone roof. No one cares. Uh, meh. Uh, this guy right there. Masterwork wooden roof. Um, we also got some berry tea. Feels good team. We got some different sea shanties for our accordion, and we got some ale. Wait, what? I just dropped the ale overboard. That's not okay. No, ale. Where are you? Oh, my God. I almost dropped the beer. I dropped the beer in the water. I can't believe that's what happened. All right. And we're up. Unbelievable and amazing. Hey, Betty. Uh, so we got a little bit of beer, and what I was trying to do instead of drop it was actually drink it. So let me see here. And then where's our beer? Ugh. Oh. Oh, good old ale. So, like I said, any commons I'm not really that interested in. Um, these guys, these guys, these guys. And really what we're looking for are those weapon bloops, of which we didn't find hardly any. No, I mean, or none. We've got none of those guys. I got a bunch of treasure maps, too. So, so far, kind of a bust on the bloops, man. What the crap? Did you see that? Oh, weird. There's like a mist on the... Oh, I'm drunk. I forgot I'm super friggin' tanked right now. Dude, we are so hammered. Should we drink more, do you think? I feel like we shouldn't. And you get a damage reduction and a damage increase from being drunk, which is kind of amazing. So, um, all right. Got a bunch of bloops. Unfortunately, nothing great so far. I'm going to continue on our way. We're going to start to head further north and uh, look for another new island here. What? Dude, have I had too much ale? Is that a lady? Dude, there's a friggin' lady there, man. Holy crap, man. And look at this. So, this is one of the islands that has, like, I think it's the power stones on it. And there are bad hombres. All sorts of bad hombres. And we have to check this out, man. I want to see this with you guys. Because we have I've yet to be on one before. I know our taming crew has gone out and done some stuff and things. But I have yet to do it. And so, I'm not really sure exactly what this is going to look like here. It looks like multiple islands. It looks like there's an island here. Yeah, it looks like maybe that's some sort of other thing. So hold on. I don't want to... All right. It looks like I can get pretty close to shore without having to worry about uh, beaching the ship. Um, it looks like we have three different islands here in the chain. 
And this one doesn't have the power stone stuff and things. Oh, there's a lighthouse over there, too. This is pretty cool, man. And I, I think this game, this is the funny thing about Atlas, is that, is that it's different than any other game I've played before. Um, in that, one of the things about it that's so much fun is just sailing and exploring. So just being under the sail and kind of just going around and seeing what there is to see is part of the allure of the game. It's part of the things that I think is so much fun about this game. So it looks like, can we turn maybe in a little bit? I'm thinking there must be shore there if that's where they've placed their lighthouse. Okay, like so. Maybe we'll get some hot sail action a little bit faster. That's got to be where one of the power stones, and I think that eventually there are like bosses that can be summoned and all sorts of stuff like that. And, I, and hopefully we're going to get into doing more of that stuff with the community here pretty quickly. Um, I also do want to build a base at some point. I can't believe I've yet to do that. Also, also, I can't believe that I've yet to see one ship of the damned on this trip. I have seen absolutely none of them. Dude, there's more stuff and things over there too. Oh my God, you guys. It looks like maybe somebody's built like a whole deal over here. I think we've actually discovered a free port, which we haven't been to since like the very first time we started playing. Like basically when I started playing on Salvation, we got a raft and then I think Zach and I built a sloop and then we pieced out and we've never really been anywhere else besides like hanging out at C2 for very, for very long. So I think over here, what we found is a free port um, let's go ahead and run over and take a look and see. Actually, am I like, am I burdened? What am I so burdened by? What is so heavy? I don't think I have anything super crazy on me. The armor doesn't weigh a lot. The bloops don't weigh a lot. My weight is 280 out of 410 though. What is it that's weighing me down? Oh, coins, 269 coins. That's where we're getting it from. I was wondering, I'm like, there's nothing on me. I have nothing that we would need. But it's good that we have coins because we might need to spend them over here. And I haven't really spent any time in a free port. So I don't really know exactly what it is that there is to find. It looks like that so far. It's uh, it's pretty safe. I'm going to climb over this pretty cool friggin' bridge here. I'm into it. Looks like we can maybe fit a dinghy underneath it. Yeah, dude, there's the city. Look at it. What a glorious place. Heck up. Oh yeah, I mean, this is this is not the free port that we left from. I'm pretty sure that originally I left from over at uh Oh dude, did they build a town across the uh, across the way here? Look at that, man. What a great little deal they've done. This is cool. They put up a big lighthouse in the area. And it looks like they built some really nice large structures over there. The Hooligans, dude. <laughs> I love that. I love that name. All right, so over here, I think we can access ship recruiter. We can get a crew for five gold coins. So what happens? Does it go into my inventory? No, it's right here. Who'd we get? Pretty Charlotte Black. All right, we got a crew deal. Now over here, I think we can ferry Northwest. Oh, dude, wait, what? Travel destinations? back okay i think that's a fairy guy i'm guessing that's what it says and i don't know if there's anything else around i do believe they they've changed now so you can make a craftable sloop or a purchasable sloop did that change yeah it is so now you can buy a sloop um and it looks like it costs oh wait what i thought you could buy them with coins looks like you can just craft them here the ramshackle sloop without needing a shipyard very interesting. This is a cool place, man. I love that you get music in the town. It makes it seem like so interactable. Um, I don't think there's anything else around here, though. What do we got? What's this guy? Access the shop. Dude, look at that mustache. Oh, you can buy dyes. Oh! Clothing, costume, and skins? Uh, yeah. Oh, how much was it? 15 gold coins. Holy crap, man. Well, at the very least now. Look at this, man. Wait, where did it go? Wait, what? 
Did that not just happen? Didn't I just get an eye patch from him for 15 gold coins? There it is. There it is. Oh, wait. I got 10 of them? Oh, yeah, matey. Oh, we got to zoom way, way in because we were zoomed in from being in our ship. Dude, look at my guy. He's amazing now. Yeah, dude. Okay. The fur hat is silly with the hair, <laughs> but the eye patch is unbelievable and amazing. And it looks like we get 10 of them. Very, very cool. 10 eye patches. We'll put one on there too. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. What other stuff and things do you have for us? Okay. So you can buy the fancy pants outfit. The dyes magical. 20,000. Put this magical artifact item slot. I think they mean in your item slot and use it when the appropriate creature is near death to instantly bend the creature's will. However, the creature's lifespan will be severely limited as a result. Well, that sounds like a super fun thing to spend 20000 on. Uh, and then what do we have right here? Oh, you guys! Craftable lion figurehead. Craftable traditional figurehead. They're 400 gold coins. Dude, how many gold coins do we have? All right, we're back on the ship. And if this adds a huge amount of weight to the ship, I'm going to be very, very upset. Uh, let's just double check and see what we got going on here. 19,794. Dude, what does it even look like? He's done it. 19,7. It decreased the weight. <laughs> Dude, look at it, man. We got a freaking lion front on our ship. <gasps> It is so cool. I love it so much. Dude, blue lion. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go get our painting stuff and things. Can we paint this? I know the episode's going a little longer than normal, but I'm just having a great time hanging out with you guys. So let's let's keep the good times rolling. Okay. Paintbrush. 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 Paintbrush already in my inventory. Okay. <laughs> Pop back out. And. And. Missed it. Oh! Oh, yeah! Blue lion! Oh. No. <gasps> blue lion? Dude, let's do it. Oh, the blue lion! I love it! It's unbelievable and amazing! Look how good it looks! So that's what the episode today was about, guys. It was about getting a figurehead for our ship. And we've done it. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me. I had a great time doing stuff and things with you. I hope that you did too. Make sure if you liked the video that you saw today, don't forget, show your support, help the channel out, smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you.